Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. The Fighting Hawks continued NCHC action, welcoming the Western Michigan Broncos to the Ralph for the conference home opener. After almost 50 scoreless minutes on Friday, WMU got a fortunate bounce off a UND skate, scoring what would ultimately be the game-winning goal. Yeah, I mean, it's you're defending, you're boxing a guy out, and you try to do the right things to prevent a goal, and, and that's hockey. Uh, and again, you know, when you talk about, you know, repetitive of the beginning of the year and not scoring a goal, that's the game of hockey. And hopefully, you know, things even out, uh, the bounces even out, and, uh, and we need to have that tomorrow. Here's State shot blocked, and UND gets shut out tonight by Western Michigan by a score of two to nothing. Saturday night started out better for the Fighting Hawks, getting on the board early with a first career goal for Jasper Weatherby. And stepping down, feeds pass for a wrist shot, Gorsuch save, rebound, Weatherby scores! Best shot, Gorsuch got it, Weatherby stepped home the rebound, his first goal at North Dakota, and it's 1-0 UND. In the end, they were not able to hold on, taking the 6-2 loss and a sweep by the Broncos. Uh, you know, we just, uh, we started trying to do things by ourselves and uh, got a little selfish, got a little individualistic and, you know, guys tried to do things too much, some guys weren't going enough and that's what happens. It's, um, frankly, it's pretty embarrassing. North Dakota's seven freshmen adjusting to college life and getting to know each other has been an exciting time. Um, we got some guys who are quiet, we got some guys who are more personable um, and outgoing, um, but I think that's the biggest thing is just the different personalities kind of gelling together. It's a good mold. Um, I think we have a, a, good, a good group, like I mean we, we work hard and we, we hang out and sometimes times are tough, but I mean for the majority of the part we are, we are definitely a really close group. Uh, they're great, you know, great group of guys, um, real close and whatnot, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a good transition, you know, a little different, um, living from the house and now uh, kind of got a roommate and, you know, a little small faces, but no, it's been a good transition, you know, um, having some hockey guys as uh, roommates and across the hall, uh, it's a lot of fun hanging out with them and stuff, and, yeah, it's just, it's been good. Box. A couple of my junior jerseys, um, usually looks this clean too, so. And there's Jackson, just hanging out. Yeah. Uh, I think it's been pretty easy so far. I think it's it's pretty easy with a good group of guys, and we have, uh, you know, obviously a pretty funny group, and and the transition was pretty easy. 
spending time together and getting to know each other away from the sport is equally as important as gelling as teammates at the rink. Uh, you know, I really like everyone. You know, I think we have a we have a lot of fun together, but uh, you know, we also help each other out. Like if anyone's struggling or having a bad day, I think uh, we really build off each other, and you know, we can talk to each other about everything. So. I think that's the best part, just kind of just enjoying every day with them. You know, we spend the most time together, so. Uh, it's huge, you know, it really brings the class together. Um, you really learn more, like, about the guys, you know, away from the rink, uh, you know. You learn um, just kind of their backstories of their lives, and, you know, you become real good friends, and, yeah, you know, it's really important to just, you know, hang out, you know, watch a movie together, or just uh, kind of sit and talk with each other. I mean, I think we're always looking for stuff to do. Uh, it's kind of tough sometimes with hockey in school, but uh, you know, whether it's just going out to eat or you know, going to watch a hockey game at Buffalo Wild Wings or something, I think we try to do try to do more stuff than just kind of sitting there and play Xbox. But a lot of that also happens. Although this group has only been together for a few months, they've built a lasting bond that can be seen on and off the ice. Top left, Jasper. Top left. Top left. Top left. <laughs> top. Super important. Um, I think there's more to life than just hockey. You're gonna, you want to be friends with these guys, and are gonna be friends with these guys for the rest of your real, of your life. I think that's super important. Um, not a lot of people have those tight connections, and are lucky enough to have those tight connections that we're gonna have. I think just, you know, obviously we're at the rink for five, six hours a day together, and a lot of us have classes together and stuff like that. So. Um, I think it's we've had a pretty easy transition, you know, getting to, to know each other and obviously being together in the summer and stuff like that. But um, you know, on the ice, it's it's been a pretty uh, good transition, and I think uh, you know it's just kind of up from here. North Dakota dips back into non-conference play for the Thanksgiving weekend as they take on Alaska Anchorage at the Ralph. Uh, you know what, uh, I think they're going to be a solid team. Obviously, uh, their record doesn't show up, but in college hockey there's a ton of parity. And I think uh, it's a huge weekend for us to bounce back from uh, what happened last weekend. Uh, well, they're a hard-working team. Um, you know, we were watching video on them today, and uh, you know they come at us hard. and. Um, they don't stop um, just because they haven't uh, haven't won very many games uh, this far in the season doesn't mean they're just going to come in here and lay down. So um, we're expecting them to come out hard, and uh, that's how pretty much how every team is. But uh, they work particularly hard. You know what? We can't forget about that. Um, it's always going to be in the back of our minds. We gotta. We just gotta learn from it. Um, we can't make the same mistakes we made last weekend. And we just, uh, we got to remember that, that bitter taste we have and uh, never let that happen again. Oh, boys. <laughs> Put it on, though. We gotta get my phone. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs>